Let me say this, okay? My wife and I, we are definitely in prayer concerning the state of our nation. As the United States of America is headed, so is headed the entire world. Because our nation is a great influence. It's a powerful influence of a nation in the globe, okay? So it is important what's going on in the nations. It, it matters very much. But I'll tell you right now, in the powerful and matchless name of Jesus the Christ, we are praying about you know presidential elections, about what's taking place. We are in favor of the will of God. So anything that looks closer to the will of God, according to the scriptures, is what we will be casting our vote concerning. Amen? That's just the way it is. Know his word, know his will, vote closest to that. That's just what it is. If that happens to be an independent party, then okay. If that happens to be a Republican party, then okay. If that happens to be a Democratic party, then okay. But let me tell you something. Even as the Lord gave me a prophetic word not that long ago about that whole thing, the political realm, I tell you right now, God knows what he's doing. There's a reason why Trump did not die. Let's just put it that way. Let's keep it very simple. When you know supernatural realities, you don't get entangled in the civilian affairs. As the Bible says, the, the one who's enlisted in the kingdom of God's army, you don't get entangled with all the noise and the news and the CNN and the Fox News and just all the things. That, listen, we don't get entangled in it. We are informed just up to the point where we need to be. I'll tell you right now, something very disheartening is taking place in our nation and it's happening in churches that are in agreement to the demonic spirit behind the perverse agenda that wants that seat of power in our nation. I want kids to be able to go to school and they don't have to hear a drag book being read to them, all right? I want kids to just grow into their organic and natural selves without feeling gender confusion because their families and their homes are atmospheres for, for marine spirits and sexual immorality, okay? That's what we want. The Holy Spirit gave me a vision, 2022, and it involved the right and it involved the left, okay? And it involved what the Lord will do when it comes to one agenda as opposed to the other. Now listen, people may like one presidential candidate more than the other, but that's not the most important thing. You know what the most important thing is? The spirits behind that human host. Because once that person assumes the chair, spirits want that chair. What does it mean then? Spirits want the person who's sitting in the chair to make all kind of arrangements and agreements and this, that, and the other with what that spirit's agenda is to influence an entire nation, especially a nation as influential as the United States of America. We will speak up for the nation of America in the name of Jesus. Listen, that sharpshooter, that nearly took out Donald Trump, why did he miss? If you can answer that question spiritually, okay? If you can answer that question from spiritual things, you will start to kind of see what God wants to do in our nation and the person he wants to use to get it done. I didn't say it directly, because listen, God can use anybody he wants to, but I'm telling you right now, whatever looks like the will of God, as from this ancient mystical book, before Donald Trump existed, the Bible was there. So it's not about presidents and, listen, it's not about that. It is about the spirit behind the political figure. That is what it's about. The Lord is going to release an attack. Mark my words, in the holy name of Jesus, the Lord is going to release an attack against the spirit of perversion that has been reigning through the seat of power for the last six to seven years in our nation, in the name of Jesus. That's what I receive, and that's what we're going to see, in the name of Jesus the Christ. No longer will their DOJ and FBI be allowed to target, persecute, or round up Christians or pro-life activists and throw them in jail for living out their religious beliefs. Americans of faith are not a threat to our country. Americans of faith are the soul of our country. You built this country. You really did. You built this country. From the moment I win the election, I will rapidly review the cases of every political prisoner who has been unjustly victimized by the Biden-Harris regime.
so we can get them out of prison and back to their families where they belong. There's many of them out there. And that includes Paula Harlow, the 75-year-old woman in poor health who the Biden-Harris administration sent to prison for peacefully protesting outside of a clinic. You know that. You heard about that. This wonderful woman and uh, 75 years old. She's going to jail. She's going to be there for quite a while because she was singing religious tunes outside of a clinic. I will create a new federal task force on fighting anti-Christian bias. And its mission will be to investigate all forms of illegal discrimination, harassment, and persecution against Christians in America. The weaponization of law enforcement is the greatest threat to freedom in our country, and nobody knows it better than me. I think I know it better than anybody. The reason Biden, Harris, and their thugs are so desperate to stop us is that they know that we are the only ones who can stop them. We are the only ones that can stop them. This is a movement. And by the way, Christians have to vote. You know, I don't want to scold you, but you know that Christians do not vote proportionately. They don't vote like they should. They're not big voters. They have to vote. If you don't vote, we're not going to win the election. If you do vote, we're going to win in a landslide. But Christians, you know, you'll go to church every Sunday. And Pastor Paula White and all of the people, I understand, they're doing lockboxes in churches where people don't even have to go to vote. They can now vote in church. And if you do that, we're going to win by numbers that nobody's ever seen before. You know, you have tremendous power, but you just don't know that. But you have to use that power. Christians are a group that's known not to vote very much.